This one feels like another sea bass. We've been getting a lot of little sea bass. We got one keeper actually. And we've been getting some fish called uh, a cunner, I believe. It's like a ro We used to think they were Rossies, but I think it's called a cunner. They're just small fish. And uh, what I got here? Yeah, I do got another sea bass. We're getting a mixed bag of fish today, folks. This one looks a little small. They gotta be 14 inches to be keepers. And he's all of 13. A lot of fun nonetheless. Mixed bag of fish. Keeps it interesting. And the other thing that keeps it interesting is you never know, you might hook into a huge cod while you're out here. You just never know with saltwater fishing and that's one of the exciting things about fishing saltwater. No, Phil, I just tossed my line in again. I don't know if it's another sea bass or what, but... <laughs> what do you get on a shad? You like that, eh, Dougie? Yeah, I put the shad. shad. I got that plastic shad on. I took. They were chewing up those little artificial crayfish, and I had to keep changing them up. No, it's it's just. Uh, oh, there we go. Just a small cod. And look at that on the trembler with the T turn. Perfect. That's why I like to use. That's the Big John. He calls that the S series. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a little spinner here in front of that uh, trembler and he ties those up special just for me. He does nice custom work and that's the bonus of the trembler right there. This guy is definitely too small. 16 inches, let him go. But that was the very next cast after that sea bass. It seems like we're in the good zone here. Sometimes that'll happen. You'll just catch one fish after another and, and they're holding in an area for some reason. Maybe there's bait fish down there, or there's a lot of uh, crabs down there that they're feeding on, but uh, they seem to come in, in, in spurts that way. We just come up to 49 feet, so that could be another reason. We, were, we started in 60, and we slowly drifted up here to, to 50, 49. So we worked that break. We got those nice two keeper cod, eh, Phil? Yeah. And now uh, a couple now of other... Now it's time to make a move back. It might be, yeah. Well, what's happening is... Oh, there was another fish. No? Something small? No, okay. Um, because the, the tide is coming in, and actually the wind is blowing this way as well, so it's coming up against this, this shoal here that we're fishing. So, oh, there we go. It was something that hit. Like I say, folks, sometimes you get into every cat. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm telling you, we're just having a lot of fun out here. This is what it's all about. Fish and salt water. And I got one of those, what do you call them, cunners. That's what I was talking about earlier. Look at that fish and the teeth on this. You don't want to, you got to see this. In. You got to see the teeth on this fish here. Look at those teeth. You want to see some chompers for a little fish? He's got teeth like humans. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Okay, get him back in. That's what bit the first time, but there it just goes to show you. Cunner, sea bass, cod, all hanging out in the same area. My shad's no worse for wear. I get back out there again. Hey, <laughs> Jed, so you switched up to a boa jigger, did you? I did. Got something nice on. Like I said, if you're going to use jigging spoons, the boa jigger rigged with, what do you got, a little bit of cut bait on there? Yeah, I got a little bit of uh, cut bait. You're right. Fish oh, oh, nice fish on the boa jigger. Oh, oh he's gonna measure. Somebody just coughed up. Look, a bunch of crab. Let's see. Some bait fish. Oh yeah, he coughed up some bait fish. They're just feeding down there like crazy. Right. Think he'll measure? Uh, he might. I don't. I don't think so. Let's check him out. Beautiful. Actually, he's a bit shy. No, move the nose. There you go. He's 19. I don't know. He's right on 19. Okay. Toss him back. All right. He was a bit too short, so I guess we'll have to throw him back. Yeah. He was right on 19. Well, that's a legal size. Well. 
little too close. Oh, Phil, there's one. Oh, that was good. It's just, just unbelievable fishing. Oh, man. I got to get my line back in there. Oh, you film all this. Wow. Good hit, Phil? Oh, yeah. On the jig. Got some weight to it. Looks like a good one. Nice fish. Thanks, Looks like a mirror image of the one Vincenzo just caught. Yep. Let's hope he's uh, an eighth inch bigger. Okay, let's measure him up. I'll measure him right here. Gonna stick here. Yeah, he's 20 inches. Beautiful. 20 inches. Nice fish. I decided to put on a smaller crab right away. You had a big crab on earlier? Yeah, I think it was too big. Yeah, it scared him away. <laughs> you gonna land them, Phil? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit small. Might be borderline. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Measure him up, Vincenzo. Magic number, Magic. Vincenzo. 19. 19. Oh, I think he makes it. Makes it? Nice. What size is it? Let's see. 19 inches, Vincenzo. He's, oh, he's well over 19. Beautiful. Yeah, good <laughs> another good hook set, Phil. Got a good, another one, Eve? Yeah, this one's got a little bit of weight to him. Oh, yeah? Yes, he does. He's feeling pretty good. That's one thing I did. I always keep my drag set very, very tight for the first hook set. And then I like to back off on it just a little bit as I'm bringing the fish in. Okay, this one actually feels, he feels decent. Oh, come on, light tackle. I've got, well, I've got a heavy action rod, seven foot rod, but for most saltwater fishing, this would be considered light tackle. And certainly 20 pound test line is light line. My goodness, what do I got here? Oh, who said cod don't fight? Change my mind. Oh, oh, there he is nice there. Oh, 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 that's a little bit of a bigger one. Oh, he's on the trembler. Nice. There wow. we go. On the trembler? He's on the trembler. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's Dude. why I run that bonus rig. Look at there. There's a nice cut. And look at what he hit. He didn't hit my shad. He hit Big John's trembler. I love it. Thanks for tying these for me, Big John. He does great work. I don't know how he ties these things, but there's a nice cod right there, folks. That's a nice fish. Hey, Dougie, you like that one? I love it. And that's why these teaser rigs work great. I Just a little T-turn, three-way swivel, off to a teaser rig. When you're fishing salt water, you never know what you're going to catch. What a dandy. That's I don't have to measure this one. <laughs> that's a nice cod.